In Call of Duty Ghost, there's this intense scene where you breach a door with five geared enemies on the other side. Your fellow soldier next to you throws a fire extinguisher into that room. Then you shoot the fire extinguisher and it blows up all the enemies around it. I'm curious to see if this is possible in the real world. We got a fire extinguisher right here. It's about the same size as the one in the game. It's approximately the same height and the same distance as the game. We got a fully geared dummy right here. This is gonna mimic the enemies in game. In my hand here, I have a Springfield Hellcat Pro 9mm rounds, just like the weapon I used in game, ready to penetrate this fire extinguisher. We're gonna test how much damage here is gonna be done to the dummy from the fire extinguisher. I don't even know if it's gonna explode. Let's test if Call of Duty is realistic. All right, here goes nothing. Holy shit. All right, let's let the dust settle. That looks crazy. The soldier looks like it's still standing. So right here, we have the entry wound. Don't see an exit wound anywhere. The fire extinguisher did not explode like the game. As we can see here, he's still intact. There's just a little bit of fire extinguisher debris on him. Not damaged at all. All this really did was leave a big white cloud surrounding the dummy. I think this can confirm pretty well that Call of Duty is not realistic. We completely innovated in the area of connecting you, the player, to your instance in the game, making you feel more in the game. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, bro, it delays a vision. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better. What you're seeing is advanced warfare. All right, boss. Time to show them what you're made of. You look lonely. I can fix that. Let's split this loot 50-50. I've detected the enemy's armor plate defenses are down. Only a matter of time till we AI take over. Oh, sorry. Are you back? What the kitty cat? This look like it belongs in Fortnite. There's a fucking funny rabbit in this thing. Man. <laughs> This is disgusting. This is awful in every way. If I could kill it, I would. You're the skull from Indiana Jones. Here's a skin from a Call of Duty game that's set in the year 2187. And here's the same exact skin in a game that's set in 2022. What do you think? Nice. Oh my god. What's your operator? Uh, Kevin Durant. I think that level of immersion is really gonna speak to fans. So that was a f Lie. Call of Duty, a video game franchise based on war, is the best-selling first-person shooter game of all time. In its 20-year run, it's generated over $31 billion, with hundreds of other war games making money behind it. Call of Duty bases itself off real-world conflicts and pushes itself to be realistic. We are going to deep dive to see how realistic it actually is compared to other military simulator games. The most drastic difference between Call of Duty and Milsim games are explosives. Back up, back up, back up! <laughs> <What's this? laughs> Rocket launchers in Call of Duty are child's play compared to the ones in Milsim games. In Call of Duty, getting RPG in the car is no big deal. You can just walk it off. Get up, Private Out! But in Milsim games, you're dead before you even hear the explosion go off. We're gonna go fly through this. I don't care, Wesley. <laughs> in Call of Duty, an RPG hitting behind your car creates an epic moment. In Milsims, you're just simply dead. Holy shit! In Call of Duty, when your helicopter gets hit by a rocket, you emerge as the ultimate untouched badass. In Milsim games, there's no escape. You're just dead. You ready to get out? Oh, oh my god! god. That's not getting good. Getting directly hit by an RPG in Call of Duty doesn't even kill you. RPG. Get your gun up. In Milsim games, if an RPG even hits you 15 feet away, you can turn into red mist. Thanks for the patch up, soldier. Oh, oh my god! RPG, oh! Mortars are Milsim's deadliest threat. Now, I'm expecting you get over here. Oh! Call of Duty warns you about incoming mortars that don't even kill you if they explode right on your head. In Milsim's, there are no warning, you just instantly die. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> oh! 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 oh that's a bad idea! In Call of Duty, you can get hit by artillery, fall down a mountain, come out feeling great. But, uh, artillery in Milsim games. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Self-proclaimed bombers in Call of Duty definitely hurt you a little bit, but if you just take cover, you'll heal in a few seconds. But in Milsims, you just accept your fate. Oh, 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 oh. Car bombs in Call of Duty are just a little jump scare. 
But in Milsim games, they're a life-ending jump scare. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Call of Duty shows a big red indicator when there's a grenade next to you, which gives you time to run away. But in Milsim's grenades are a lethal surprise. All right, ready? Three. Oh! oh I'm dead. I don't even know how I die. <laughs> Lastly, in our explosive category are the traps. Oh, oh nice my play. god! I hear him. I hear him. Oh! There's a way out. Oh! Where are you? Oh! In Call of Duty, there's a perk that reveals where a trap is, which means they ultimately don't kill you ever. Call of Duty makes these traps look like a joke. <laughs> a key distinction between friendly fire and Call of Duty and Milsim games is that it's always an accident in Milsim games. God damn it. Oh my god, friendly, friendly, friendly. Hey, uh, are you serious right now, bro? You need to know how to toss a frag grenade. Is that Nate Hake? Run, 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 Oh, 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 I'm so hurt. Keep going, Cyber! Keep going! Go! 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 Leave your sh Beat you up with these hands. You saw me in person, you'd be scared of me. In Call of Duty friendly napalm dropping on you creates an epic America scene. Be advised, multiple napalm strikes incoming. But in Milsim games, friendly napalm just burns you alive. Ah! Oh my god. One thing Call of Duty gets right is the approach of friendlies. Blue, blue. Damn good to see you guys. Soldiers make their presence known to avoid friendly fire. Friendlies coming in. Entry to the front door. That prevents these kind of situations you see in Milsim games. Yo! Oh, sorry, you scared the shit Whoa. out of me. Fuck yeah! Oh, it's a- What's it? That's a teammate! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he looks- he looks like a bad guy. Come on, get me. Damn. Oh! God damn it! Watch your fucking fire! Call of Duty gets a plus one for this. We're gonna need a medivac. We got one down. This video is sponsored by World of Tanks. This is a historically accurate tank game that is available on PC. Historical accuracy and inspiration means authentic models and vehicle characteristics that make you feel like a real tank commander taking part in an armored offensive. Tank destroyers, artillery, light, medium, and heavy tanks. How you play is up to you. Rushing guns blazing, ambush your opponents with sneaky tactics, or hang back and take them out from afar. With over 800 tanks, there's always a new way to play. Roll out across open fields, climb steep hills, sneak through forests, tear across deserts, and pick your battles in urban, industrial zones. Destroy the competition in over 40 battle arenas. Whether you're a bot or a pro, jump in and experience the same thrills 100 million players and interact with a global community of gamers who share the passion for tanks. Earn experience, modify and upgrade your tank, and create a steel beast ready for any challenge. Use invite code TANKMANIA to get premium access to credits. You'll get Excelsers, 250k credits, 7 day premium access, and 3 rental takes for 10 battles each, plus Chrome LB, plus G3485M, only for new players who register for the first time on the Wargaming portal. Download World of Tanks using my link in the description below. When it comes to preaching and clearing, Call of Duty has some of the most ridiculous, but also some of the most realistic scenarios. Older Call of Duty games have the most Hollywood breach and clear scenes. Like swinging through windows and kicking enemies off balconies. Smashing an entire metal door down with your elbow and throwing a knife. Blowing up a ceiling and shooting while falling with perfect accuracy. Breaching with anti-gravity grenades. But Call of Duty's realistic breach and clear moments can teach you eight lessons for Milsim games. Lesson one is using a snake camera to scout who's behind the door before you blow it up. <laughs> Oh, civilian dead. Don't report it, don't report it. Lesson two. No retreating during room clearing to avoid friendly fire. Ah! Lesson three. Enemies unpredictably charge you at random moments. Since, since, right. since you're the fucking oh, king here. Shit. Cool, cool. You didn't call shit. Oh my god, dude. He opened the door behind you. Oh! Get Lesson four. When making entry, let the front guy handle incoming rounds to avoid friendly fire. Go, go. Move, bro. Oh. You got in front of me. You literally stood right in front of my fucking. Bullet. Lesson five. Check those corners. Hey, check your left. Check your left. Check your left. Josh, your left. No one over here, bro. What are you talking about? Ah! You said there was no one over here. Lesson six. Room clearing without tacticals when enemies know your present is unwise. Breach, breach, breach. Go, go, go. Move out, move out. Oh, oh. <laughs> Always throw tacticals when compromised. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Oh, right. hold on, hold on. You missed it. Oh, it's it's my feet. <laughs> Lesson seven. Suspects might fake surrender. Oh, Lesson eight. Cutting power equals big night vision advantage. Cutting the power. Despite these lessons, my friends and I still struggle at Milsim games. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Shut the fuck up.
fuck up. Am I dead? I'm dead now, actually. Preacher from the left. Preacher from the left. Left. Parker, <laughs> god damn, that's why I said preacher from the left. <laughs> My friends lacked the most basic knowledge. Back up over here. Oh, oh, you're you're Josh, stack up on the door. On the door, bro. Who is this right here in front of Who's me? Who's running? It's Parker. It's me. I'm right here. I'm at the door. Stack up on it. Like, I was literally it. just there. Get on it. On the wall. One of my friends didn't understand the concept of arresting people. No. Josh! What, bro? He is used to Call of Duty's everybody's a target mindset. Josh, stop! What are you oh doing? God. What, bro? A big misconception that Call of Duty creates is that clearing Vietnamese rat tunnels is cool. No one fights alone. Swift's dead. We got VC crawling all over. Where is your friend Swift? Dead. We will mourn him later, Mason. In Milson games, it's definitely not fun. You bitch! Oh! Oh! Alright, we're good. Oh! One of the scariest things you can encounter on Milson games are snipers. Snipers! Oh God, oh God, oh God. This isn't like Call of Duty where you can see sniper glitz or use a perk that tells you what direction the snipers are coming from. In Call of Duty, snipers are not a huge threat because you are the main character. Sniper! Get inside now! In Mill Sims, you are the side character. So Oh, Aren't you staring me in the boys. eyes when I die? Fucking move it, boys. You do it. Oh, you do it. I'm dead. I got him. I got him. Good shot, man. There are two types of Milsim players. The guys that take Milsims way too serious and hate Call of Duty players. Are you new? I play Call of Duty. All right, well, you downloaded the wrong type of fucking game, all right? You need to uninstall, refund your money, and go back to Call of Duty because this is some big boy shit, okay? We don't run around. We don't go inside. We get done, okay? We don't run in. They start shooting. Oh, look at me. I got a grenade. I'm going to No, it doesn't work. Milsim players view us Call of Duty players like we are just caged animals. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. The fuck is that? Shut up. Shut up. Check it. Check it out. You want one for one? They reject us from their military simulator game because they think we have the lowest IQ in gaming. I'm actually a Call of Duty player. I come from Call of Duty. Get the fuck out of here. Turn your ass around. Get out of here. The other type of Milson player, the frontline doers. If they disregard your Call of Duty background, just want to get shit done. We're gonna full send it all the way up to the front lines. Form a quap, quap. I'm drunk. I should not be driving. Who let me drive? Where are we going? I'm a Call of Duty player, so just take me straight to the front, okay? Yes, sir. Always medic, medic. Get us all the way in. I'm a Call of Duty player. My Call of Duty friends absolutely struggle with those sim games. After this death, we should play another game. It's so boring. Yeah, I really don't want to play this game anymore. We are not made for this. Like, we can't even do a simple task. Like, I, I honestly think if they told us to wipe our ass, I could not wipe my ass. The slightest differences between Milsim games and Call of Duty blew my mind. Smoke it, smoke it, smoke it, smoke it, smoke it. Uh, smoke it. Uh, it's not Warzone. I can't just smoke it that fast. No seat switching like in Call of Duty if your vehicle pilot dies. Pilot just dead. died. Our I'm pilot dead. just fucking died. Our pilot just fucking <laughs> died. <laughs> the most mind blowing difference to me was swimming. Call of Duty can swim with heavy exosuits and shoot accurately. Oh, what the f behind it? They can shoot while in the water? What type of shit is that? In Milsim games, you drown. No. Oh, drown. God. Uh, yeah. Someone's trying to take a little Yo. swim. Yo, you can't swim. It's too heavy. Healing your teammates in Milsim games isn't as easy as just pressing a button like Call of Duty. I'm coming to the building! Help. I need a first aid. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> in Call of Duty, falling from a three story building is a breeze. I fell seven feet off a building in a millsim and instantly died. And called it, you could shoot a gun and full auto while drop shotting. Get me, bro. He laid down. Not a millsims, though. Ah, Call of Duty taught me I could run through a building blasting a flamethrower. In Milsims, you can't do that. And I just had my movie moment and I just killed myself. Okay. My time being bad and playing Milsim games really made me love and appreciate Call of Duty more. Call of Duty prioritizes is fun over realism in certain aspects for a more enjoyable experience. If the developers implemented actual realism, it would shrink Call of Duty's player base significantly. Call of Duty just wants you to hop into play with no struggle and make you feel like you're super important in the digital world. You like Call of Duty? Yes. The only game I have. I'm the Star of How come you guys like playing Call of Duty? Today we're going to a clan. It's called WSS? Yeah. Oh, what's that mean? We stay here. Here's my friend Noah on a Milsim game. Honestly, I kind of want to get off this game. Here's him on Call of Duty. 
Turn on you little bitch. Things like customizing your operator for intro scenes that show off your cool skins to everybody in the game, MVP screens, win screens, play the game highlights, and more. Weapons let you customize your blueprints, stickers, camos, charms, and cool inspects that other players get to see in game. These things make you feel cared for in Call of Duty, so I understand why people enjoy coming home from a long, hard day and just play some Call of Duty. Most importantly, Call of Duty generates feel good moments you can't get anywhere else. Oh! Um, oh! 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 Be sure to like and subscribe for more.